We're going to look at some skills that you need to have for this class. One of them is how to solve ratios and weights. You should have learned these in previous classes. This is just kind of a refresher. When you've worked with ratios and weights in previous courses, you have been able to convert ratios to a reduced form is important. This is the idea of canceling any common factors in the numerator and denominator. When working with rates, this means converting to a unit rate in most cases, which means that the denominator is one. Then make sure you keep the units. So as an example, let's just do one where we're trying to find out, write each ratio in its simplest form. The first one we have is four to nine. Now that two there really means fraction. It really means four to nine. So four over nine. So the fraction four ninths. There are no common terms, so we're done. We don't have to cancel anything out. Let's try another one, five colon 15. That colon really is, means the same as two. So it's just another way to write the exact same problem. So we're gonna write five first, two, 15. That we do notice has some common terms. Five goes into both numerator and denominator. Five goes into five once, five goes into 15 three times. So we get one third. Another example is 24 inches over 72 inches. So again, I wanna see what simplifies, what's common to both these. 24 actually goes into 72 three times. So we get one over three. And one of the things I notice is my inches will cancel from top and bottom because they're the same units. So I get one third as that ratio. Let's go ahead and write some unit rates for each of the following problems. So we have 300 miles in five hours. So usually when we're talking about rates, we usually like to put the distance first and the time, or it really doesn't really matter, but we're so used to doing miles per hour. Let's put the miles in the top, so 300 miles over five hours. Now in this case, 300 divided by five, that goes into it 60 times. The miles and the hours are not the same. So even though like up here where the inches for the same way you cancel them, miles and hours don't. So this is gonna be miles over hours. In our vernacular, we like to think of this as 60 MPH for miles per hour. Another example is 120 seconds to two hours. So we're gonna go ahead and write this I'm going to spell seconds correctly. I'll just do a sec. They easier anyway. Um, put the seconds in the top and the two hours in the bottom. It actually doesn't matter. It's really your comfort and what, what problem you're trying to deal with. So we have the 120 seconds over two hours. 120 divided by two is 60. And then seconds and hours do not cancel. So you have seconds per hour. 